This is video three of the Fast Track Cache system. You are going to learn in this third step how to set up your blogger blog to start driving traffic to your offer. All right, for this video, this is the third step of the process. I'm going to show you how to actually start using the content that you produced. And here are some fast strategies that you can be using to get traffic to your affiliate link. Obviously, the most important thing for this entire system is to get as much traffic as possible for whatever product you are going to be promoting, which in this case would be the Fast Track video series. As an example, I'm showing you opt-in profits, but this would be the exact steps you're going to do to, to promote this Fast Track Cash video series. So what you're going to do here is you see um, I've got my affiliate link up here that I've already pulled down, which came on the registration page, basically the affiliate page, sign up page. I've actually created a separate Gmail account. You don't have to do this step. You could use your own email. I just like Gmail uh, just because it makes you flexible. It allows you to have you know different profiles and things like that. So you could use Gmail. You could use Yahoo. Uh, Gmail is just a little more streamlined and easier to use. So you could just go to gmail.com in order to set that up. You don't have to do that step, but it will help you. Now, as you see here, I've got two reviews already all completely written out. So let me show you here, if I were to go to format and then word wrap, that's really what they're going to look like. You see nice, two clean looking paragraphs. So you see here, I've just got, you know, some nice, clean looking paragraphs, very nice looking course, uh, or basically reviews right here that kind of lay out what the course is about. I took this information from the sales letter and also from the email swipe copy. So it was really easy to put this together. It only took a few minutes to do. So now for this step, again, what we're going to do is start driving traffic to this affiliate link. So here's what you need to do. The first thing I recommend you do is we're going to go to blogger.com, blogger.com. We're going to set up a blog over here on blogger.com. So what you want to do now is you want to head right over, right on over here to blogger.com and you want to actually sign in with your Google account. So for this example, I've set up a Google account for this example here. And this a Google account could be your Gmail. And it could be any email address, you know, any Gmail account or another email address, whichever you prefer. Now, again, if you're brand new here, just go to create a blog. Otherwise, if you already have a Gmail account set up, you can just quickly log in with that. Then you're going to choose sign in. Okay, once you're logged in here, it's going to ask you what your display name, name is because this is the first time I've set up an account here for this example. So for the display name, let's just choose a random name here. Let's just call this, you know, the name of the videos. Or you could call yourself, you know, internet marketing or just some random characters or admin, however you want to do it. Let's see. Okay, accept the terms and conditions and then choose continue. Now this will be just a second, it's going to ask you to name your blog. This is very, very important that you do exactly what I'm showing you here. You want to go back to your notepad file here and at this point you should have already written out a title, a title for your post here. This is what you want to be calling your product. So the first thing you want to be promoting, the first keyword phrase that you're going to be going after here is going to be the title of the course or program that you're trying to promote because that's going to get you the most targeted traffic once that program is released. So you see here we've got opt-in profits review and then you and Chia, obviously that's the name of the product creator here. So product creator name is also searched for pretty much equally as much as the product name when a major product is released so therefore you want the title of your blog to be that because you want to rank for that so there it is opt-in profits review you and Chia people will google that phrase opt, you know the name of the course and then review this would be like fast track cash you know review that kind of thing now for the blog address you want to make the blog address be the main keyword phrase that you're trying to rank for so let's just do that. Obviously, the main keyword phrase is the name of the course, or excuse me, the name of the main product that you are promoting, which in this case would be, you know, like this fast track cash videos or fast track cash, however you want to do that. So let's just put that in here and then choose check availability. 
it looks like that one's already taken so let's just say fast track cash or excuse me opt-in profits review you and Chia then hit check availability and that one is available so try to get your main keyword phrase in there now you're going to choose continue now once you get to this step you're gonna be at a phase that's pretty basic where you're just going to choose a theme to work with now there's lots quite a few different ones that you can actually work with and actually choose but I'm just gonna easily find one here that we could actually work on so let's just go with for example this this green one right here is pretty clean so you could just choose that any of them should work for this example so again you can just highlight whichever one you want to use just putting your mouse in there and then selecting continue after that it's going to say start blogging and inside here you're going to be taken to a spot where you can make your first post on your new blog this is where you're going to make one of the posts that actually you've written up from one of these reviews so as you can see it's very easy to do so what I'm going to grab here is the title here which again is the main keyword phrase you're trying to go for name of the product product creator fast track cash you and Chia opt-in profits you and Chia that kind of thing name of the course name of the product creator I'm going to copy and paste in this information now it's important when you're in your notepad file that you make sure you go to format and make sure the check mark is away from word wrap make sure the check mark is away from word wrap because that's going to help it come in very very clean into your page so you just want to copy and paste I like working in notepad just because if you copy and paste from Microsoft Word sometimes it can look kinda junky so you want to come right over here to where it says edit HTML and you just simply want to paste in that content now once you're done here just go over here to where it says compose and there's some different things you want to do here so what I would recommend you do is for one you want to grab the name of the course opt-in profits from you and Chia make that bold and you want to make that your affiliate link so to do that you again you highlight it you click this little world icon with the hyperlink and you're gonna come right down over here and you're going to select your affiliate link so I to grab that I highlighted it and I right clicked and I chose copy and I'm plugging in my affiliate link here this could be your affiliate link for any kind of product that you're out there promoting now you can just go kinda of through this and when you see it again make that bold highlight it and put that in there now what the one thing you want to do at the very end is you always want to include a call to action of some kind so you could say discover how often profits can change your business fast or just how it can change your business and I like to make them bold oops excuse me let me make sure I highlight all that and make that bold plug in that link there affiliate link and then you could also center that last one if you want to just to make sure it stands out even more and also if you want to make that link even bigger one thing you could do is actually grab that link and size it up a little bit so make it more of a larger size and then you could also do something where you add in like an arrow so you could use like the shift key and the arrow and then do the same thing on the other side okay so now you see there you've got a nice arrow that points in and it's all hyperlinked and you can even make it larger if you wanted to by just going up here clicking on that text and you could even make it like the largest size font but let's just go with large 
Now as far as labels go, I recommend you use, again, the name of the course you're trying to rank for. And then the name of the product creator. Okay, now after that, you're simply going to choose Publish Post. Big orange button, just choose Publish Post. Now it's going to ask you to view your post, so right click and choose Open Link in a new tab. So what you see here now is you've got your blog here. Notice how it's got the na name of the product, product name, and the word review, name of the course creator, and here inside here is an email. And then right here at the end, boom, you've got your nice call to action right there at the end. Now if you, there's, you see some things you want to edit, you can always just go right back to edit post. Then highlight that particular post that you want to edit. And maybe you want to you know, make a space, make a couple spaces down from the bottom. Maybe add a few more spaces at the end of this. And then hit republish. And then come back here and simply refresh to see how that looks this time. So by making that space, this stood out a little bit more. You know, you could always easily come back here and say, hey, maybe I want to edit that so that it stands out more at the bottom. So you could come down here and say, okay, there's plenty of space. Let's make that a little bit bigger. And then publish that. And then come back here and simply hit refresh. And boom, that stands out even better right there straight over to your affiliate link. So this again was very very simple for you to do. Now you can go through here if you want to, you know, modify some things here on this sidebar like if you want to add like information about your about about me section, if you want to edit these kind of details over here under followers. Um you could also come over here under layout like for example, if you don't really like that layout, you could come right over here and choose pick new template. And then actually go through here and just look through another template that might work better for you. And then just hit save template. Come back over here and hit refresh to see how it looks overall. That one, you know, you may not like, so you can go on and choose another one. So you can kind of see how this works, but that's how you use blogger.com. Now I'll show you one other step here in just a moment. We're going to choose another theme here just to make sure we get one that looks good. Okay, so we'll save that template again. Come right over here and hit refresh. Okay, you see that? That looks quite a bit cleaner than some of the other ones. And you see here you've got your nice link down here at the bottom that really stands out. So that's the one we'll kind of stick with here. Now there's one other thing you'll want to do to really make sure this new page gets out there. You're going to want to come down to the main home page of your blog. And that'll take just a moment. And you're going to see here at the very bottom of your blog, of any blogger blog, it's going to say down here, Post Adam. You just want to choose Post Adam. You want to come up to your address bar, which I'll show you here. Simply copy that. Simply copy this. And then you want to go right on over to a site called pingomatic.com. And I'll drag this back down so you can see what it will look like. Okay, so here's pingomatic.com. For the blog name, just choose the name that you're trying to go after. And for the blog homepage, copy and paste, or excuse me, for the blog homepage, just choose your main blog homepage. And then for the RSS, copy and paste that in there from the post atom. Then choose check all. And then hit send pings. And what this will do is this is going to help this new blog get indexed in the search engines and when that's done you should see a bunch of this information so now what you've got here you've got your blog and you're also at this point going to want to make sure your RSS feed stays up like this because we're going to use it in the next video because we're actually going to tie this together 
with another social media property that we're going to go over in the next video. So that's the first step is to use blogger.com and then to ping it so that starts getting indexed. So it's again, it's very easy. You're just copying and pasting the content and getting the exposure. That's really the most important element here.